Welcome to Hacks Be Shared. Early November in the UK, I hope you're well. We're just about to start lockdown two. Some months ago, I changed this stock pulley from my Harrison 140 lathe motor for a pulley that was twice the size. But I've got a couple of queries over the pulley that I fitted. The first thing is, on the pulley that I fitted, the V's are not quite wide enough, I don't think. And secondly, I get a bit of vibration. You can see this pulley's aluminium, but the one that I fitted is a quite heavy steel block. So I'm going to take this cover off. I can do that with just three screws here. And have a look at the pulley and uh, make some decisions about it. Try not to drop this on my toes. This is the last bolt coming out now. Now that I get the cover off and I look at it, I realise perhaps my mind's been playing tricks on me a little bit because I can see the belts are quite well into the V and uh, maybe that's okay. But it is the belts are quite close to the case and they do slap a bit when when the belts are cold. Um, I'll think about that. You can see that it's a split cone type of pulley, whereas the old one was a keyway and a grub screw, if you can see that. And there we are. So these are quite easy to get off and they're self-extracting when you remove these two Allen grub screws and insert one into there, it'll pull that cone off, which is quite easy for extraction. So, Regardless of anything, I will actually check the balance of it. Eighth of an inch. There we are. For another job, I made up these two knife edges. It may look to you as a block of wood and a couple of pieces of thin angle iron, but to me it's a piece of precision equipment. And checked it for level in all directions. It's level. Put my stub shaft on it. See if it rolls. No, it doesn't. Okay, I think that's good enough to test this pulley for balance. That looks about equal. Clamp it up. You can only get the centre cone in one way. <clears throat> right, let's see if it's going to roll. It's a little bit off balance, I think. Yeah, look. OK, I'll play around with that. Whoop, don't roll off the end. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit out of balance. Ah. <laughs> it's a bit scary. It's okay. <laughs> I'll have to check my levels again and make sure that the knife edges really are horizontal. But it does seem to be a little out of balance, doesn't it? I've put a mark on where the low spot seems to be. Now I'm going to put it in the lathe between centres. I think there might be too much drag on the centres on a small pulley like this, relatively small. But we'll just see. And if it falls down to this point again on the centres, I, I think I can be confident that uh, this is a heavy spot. I'll put the block of wood on the bed. So if I do drop it, I'm not going to damage the bed. <laughs> Next we put in the spindle bush and the centre. This bush outer is four and a half more taper. So it's a bit unusual and a bit rare and a bit expensive if you have to find another one. 
The centres are nothing, three quid maybe. Okay, so that's that end done. We'll put a live centre in the tail stock. Slip the tool off, get it out of the way a little bit. And then put the pulley between the centres. If you can. There we go. Okay, nip it up slightly. Well, as expected, there's a bit of resistance to turning on the between the centres. There's a bit of drag. But hopefully you can see the mark. And what I can do is rotate it a number of times, freely rotate it, and see if it stops in the same place each time. So the conclusion here is that this method has too much drag to uh, find a heavy spot on a pulley such as this, or that the pulley's actually in balance, that's another possibility. Well, if the pulley is out of balance, it's only by a very small amount, I think. But what I am going to do is put the pulley back on the motor shaft. I've just slipped the belts off for a moment and run the motor and see if I feel any vibration as a final check. Right, put my thumb on the micro switch, start the motor. Feel for vibration, nothing. So as they say in these parts, that's good enough. So all it's done is to prove that it was just a figment of my lockdown imagination. The pulley and the belts are back on. They're a little bit loose. You can see the problem. I wanted a pulley which would double my spindle speed. So that really fixes the size of this pulley. But the belts run too close to the case and we get a bit of slapping. So some time ago I bought this nylon pulley with a couple of sealed bearings in it. What I'm going to do with that is put that here and use this bracket to put a spring on it and it'll just be a very light spring tensioner. When the lathe is running in the forward motion, this side is the tight side and this is the slack side. I only get the slapping for the first sort of 10 minutes till the belts warm up. After that, I don't get any slapping noise. Luckily, these holes were just the right size to thread this 10 mil and I've got a piece of threaded bar and what I'll do is I'll slip this on this will make a little stub axle if I cut it off by about here and I'll just put a blob of weld at the back to hold this in there we are that'll hold straight while I just put a blob of weld on the back there I'm gonna cut this a bit long I'll trim it later that's stage one done I'll put a nylock nut on there when I'm ready. Okay, now to organise the pivot and the spring. And I may trim this plate down. We'll see. I found this little plastic blanking plug, which I'm going to use as a bush. But I just need to drill out the plate to 10 mil, which is the size of this peg. Well that's the pivot bush pressed in, a little bit of persuasion required and I hopefully you're getting the idea about how this is going to work. Hard to keep my hands out of the way, pivot on that bush with a spring and just put a little bit of tension on those belts to stop them flapping. I've done some work off camera and this is where we've got to. These belts are still too loose, they need tightening up. I've adjusted the belts and I'm happy with them now. About an inch movement, that'll do. So I'll put the case on and we'll see what it's like um, running. Well that sounds reasonably quiet. Let's see how we get on. I hope that was useful to you. Thank you for watching Axby Shed.